Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. All right, guys. So, uh, you yeah, know, finally, I am on Heroic Seven, almost there to defeat Boss Raven, and that's exactly what we're gonna take a look and at in this video. But I still have like a little bit of health left on Enchantress, and I'm gonna use my Batman Ninja team over here, take it down. I think the whip cam was a little too big. All right, guys. So. There it is, the Batman Ninja team. Uh, I know that Special 1 and Special 2 are disabled. Uh, but yeah, it's just 127 million. I'm not going to risk any, any other team, any good team, just for 127 million. I just want to trigger the puppet once. And uh, it'll probably take me like a minute at the max to finish him off, finish her off. <clears throat> No. Alright, she's blind now. Gives me enough uh, room to generate combos. Okay. I mean, the damage is a little less. At the moment. Now it's triggered. The puppet is triggered finally. Let's do some special threes first. Alright, going pretty good at the moment. So this is an ascended uh, Batman Angel or Joker, guys. Yeah, he is ascended to uh, one star. Uh, not maxed out yet. Probably going to take me a lot of those orbs, universe orbs to promote, to ascend him. You know, so let's focus more on playing League Invasions now. I was trying to get the intergalactic orbs because you need to shatter them in order to convert them into the universe orbs. Like 20 of them. To convert to get two orbs, two universe orbs, so like 10, 10 for each, okay, and plus the shards, which is going to be another headache. Yeah, 400 shards for every promotion, dude. That's too much, anyways. Now let's move on to the main boss, which is Boss Raven. She is uh, a little difficult for you know players who don't have. Who basically rely a lot on the LOA team and Beast Boy because he is she is immune to DOT. She will not take any sort of DOT damage, and that's why over here I've started off first with uh, the percentage damage dealing team, which is Deadstroke and Black Adam, and then I got Power Girl over there. Let's see how this pip went. We go going pretty smooth at the moment. Okay, so power girl. The reason why only reason why I use power girl is to get reduced power costs. And uh, you know the thing is that I could go with any other character like Batman who laughs, or maybe something else. But that will just uh, you know uh, take a lot of time, I guess. Uh, I, I, Basically, I'm focused more on using the clones in fights like these. So the more quickly you finish off your special twos for Deathstroke, the much better it is. Gives us enough time for the clones, right? That's the reason I use Power Girl, okay? Now, the clones are not going to be that strong. So let's see. Yeah. I mean... Look at him, he's almost dead. Oh no. Yeah, I used a special one over there because she was... Okay, he's dead too. Yeah, I used a special one over there because uh, obviously there was an illusion. And that special two would not have hit, and I would have wasted that special two. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the last uh, last few special twos that I'm doing over here. We did more than 50%. Okay, that's done. So yeah, we did more than 50%, which is not that much, but it's enough, I guess, for now. Because this is Heroic 7 main boss, Raven. He's strong. I mean, I just let them all die. Uh, there was no point in extending the fight. They would have done pretty much nothing. Okay, that's very close to 1.3 billion. Not bad. I, I know with a few more hits from the clones, I would have taken it to 1.4 billion too. Quite easily. But yeah, unfortunately, the clones were not strong enough. Okay, let's see if you could be able to finish. We should be able to finish this off and if we don't mess up. Oh, come on. I mean, Raven is combo interruptible, so let's keep doing this. And the damage is not huge until now. It should increase later as we do the soup move. Yeah. Eight hundred million to do. And if, in case, we fail, let's hope it does not come to that, but I, I, I also have King and Raven to use. Right, never mind. We can die. I don't care. Oh, uh, not her. That was bad. That was like the worst tagging I've ever made. Alright, where is DMC? So the reason I use DMC is pretty obvious. Because of the resilient modifier you can see. Right, she's gone. You know, I, I really wanted to give a try with gemstone and uh, you know gemstone and uh, <clears throat> Batwoman the drone maybe next time I'll give it a try okay she's dead and I gotta waste another pip I gotta use another pip I'm glad that I still have uh, King and Raven he can die no problem alright guys so this wasn't easy uh, combo interrupting Raven obviously not easy 200 mil, that's like nothing. Alright guys, let's move on. So I have used Twin Blade, even though she is resilient because uh, I'm going to use Gemstone on Raven. That should give me extra damage boost in order to take down 600 million. Okay. Raven versus Raven. This would probably will be the final pip. If I mess up over here, I don't really have another team to use. Just have to be very careful about this pip. I have to make sure that I finish him off, finish her off in this pip itself. Okay, three stacks. Now we're going to get the first stack of gemstone. Yeah, I mean, even though there is a resilient and a protective screen modifier, we're still doing decent damage. Thanks to the gemstone. And after the fix that they made, where the stacks don't go away after the fifth stack, you know, the timer used to just go away. Stacks used to go away, but now it's not going to happen. Okay, he's going to revive. No, oh, 32 hits. 
And we're doing good. That's four stacks. This will be the fifth one. It will be a little difficult to maintain this. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's still doing decent damage. The minute and 15 seconds left in the fight. Here comes the super move. I had to do. I'm glad that I did not swipe right over there. That would have been the end of this pip. Literally the end of this pip. I'm glad that I swiped back. Because she blocked. And after that, she did a super. Uh, she did a special. And uh, King would have been dead on the spot. Alright, that's it. One. Finish her, man. Finish her. There we go, guys. There we go. Finally. Now, let's see the rewards. Ah, let's see. Uh, so, Heroic 7, guys. 15% uh, chances for getting Raven. And then we got two more pips to play. Yeah, a lot of resources. Uh, a lot of uh, coins. Gear upgrade materials. Reforges. But... What about the character? Which character are we going to get? Come on, guys. This is Heroic 7. At least give me something good. If not legendary, give me something good. Maybe an LOA drop. Maybe a drop with the bathroom in the drowned. Oh, man. Come on. This is disappointing rewards. Definitely. Disappointing rewards, man. Don't expect that. Anyways, uh, let's move on. Batman. Harley Quinn. Poison Ivy. Right, so I don't have Arkham Knight Batman. I've already used Arkham Knight Batman with uh, the uh, Batman and the Drowned Pip. But over here, uh, what we have is Predator Batman with the Gemstone. And uh, the usual artifacts on the other characters. So I got an extra solo raid artifact which I'll shatter. I think I'll promote the chakra to level 9 soon enough. And right, there we go, two stacks, not bad. You know what guys, seriously, I think that they should really fix the reward system. I mean, this is heroic 7, people don't even reach here. It takes months and years of uh, grinding in this game and you give us like 15% at least let it be 30% man you know because Raven after defeating Raven after using 3 pips on a character on the boss you know and after grinding for months to reach heroic 7 what I get uh, at the end of the fight what I get is Harley Quinn Batman Ninja Harley Quinn not even the uh, League of Anarchy Harley Quinn but yeah that was really disappointing man I, I really expected something better uh, yeah, we did get solo raid artifact, but it's like that's like the basic reward. They they really need to work on this reward system, man. It's not good at all. All right, so that was an easy one shot, uh, and I'm guessing this will be an easy one shot too, because it's Beast Boy. All right, and these are the artifacts. A 19 hits, but it's gone. Let's put in some negative effects. So, if any one of you out there doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, because I think I read a comment uh, say, say, asking that, what exactly do you mean by negative effects? Negative effects means, like, as you can see, there are some timers going on over here. So, there is a DOT timer, there is a wounded timer, there is a reduced defense timer, uh, you know, there is a blind timer. Uh, so yeah, those are the negative effects which we need to apply in order to 
triggers a Tannus Puppet and keep it triggered so that we get infinite power and we basically become uh, unblockable, right? That's the reason why we need to stack a lot of negative effects on the opponents. There we go. 45 hits. Now, I have noticed at times over here that the damage literally went down. I mean, I know that he's iron skinned. Some damage will just not, he would just not take a lot, some sort of damages. But this never really happened before. A lot of damage just went away. Like, take a look at this. What is this? That's like nothing. No damage. I mean, take a look at this. Damage is very less. All right, 37 hits. Combo meter stayed for a bit. And it's gone. One minute. If, and I, I, it's going to be one shot, yes, but it just took a lot of time. Normally, it doesn't take this long. We're just going to spam special threes over here until he's dead. All right, this should be it. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the video today. If you enjoyed it, uh, give it a... I did not enjoy the reward specifically. I did, did enjoy defeating Raven, though. Uh, so, yeah, you know. So, let's uh, see what brings next, you know, when we complete Heroic 7 again. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. And bye-bye. Uh,